Hello everyone and welcome back to the Planet Coaster Museum. Uh, as you will, some of you will know, this series is about uh, creating paintings, real life uh, famous paintings, and so everyone can use them in the game, in interiors of buildings and things like that. Uh, when I finish every episode, I upload the, the painting on the Steam Workshop so anyone that wants can use it. I'm sorry for my voice in this episode, I'm a little bit constipated since yesterday, so I'm sorry if I sneeze or, so, sneeze or something like that, uh, we'll try not to. The, on this episode we're going to look at, of course, the screen by Edvard Munch. The screen is one of the most famous uh, iconic paintings of the modern era, and actually when I'm saying one, it's one of the most famous paintings, I'm actually wrong. Uh, the, the painting is not one painting only, it's a series of paintings, but the version we are looking right now, uh, that I'm making in Planet Coaster, is probably the most famous version of, the, of them all. It's the one you can see at the National Gallery of Oslo, and uh, it was painted in 1893 uh, on oil, tempera, paste, pastels and crayon on a cardboard. There's another three versions and a lithograph created by Munch, so he could create copies. And those were done on the next years. Uh, the, the original one was another one from 1893 that was made only with pastels, also in cardboard. The second one is the famous one, the one we are making here. The third one was the lithograph. Uh, the fourth one was the 1895 version on pastels and cardboard that was actually sold on an auction uh, for 120 million US dollars. And then there's uh, the one in the Munch Museum, the latest one, the, the 1910 version, uh, in, on tempera and cardboard. This one and the one we are painting right now uh, were uh, stolen, they were famously stolen with famous art thieves uh, some years ago. The one we are painting right now was sold in 1994, uh, in the National Gallery of Oslo, where it's uh, now, and was stolen during the Winter Olympics uh, because there was a really bad security in the museum. And actually, the, the thieves left a note saying, Thanks for the poor security. And they were pretty famous thieves, art thieves. Uh, the one, the, the, the boss who, uh, also had stolen one of Father Munch's uh, arts uh, some years ago. They also asked for a ransom of $1 million, but the Norwegian um, government didn't want to give them the money. And when they were caught, I, the boss of the operation said that he was actually hiding the, the painting below the wooden planks of his dining table. Only 12 weeks passed between the robbery and the police uh, finding the, the painting again. The second robbery of the, of the 1910 painting uh, happened in 2004 and it's a little bit more boring because uh, these thieves were not the classic art thieves but they entered at gunpoint and even if the police could capture every one of the of the band the paintings that actually were uh, the, this uh, the 1910 version of the of the, of the scream and another Munch painting called uh, La Madonna uh, those versions couldn't be found until two years later um, and even then it, they had damages that had to be repaired. So that's a pity. Talking a little bit about the reproduction I'm making um, on Planet Coaster, it took me a, a while. It's not so many times as, as uh, La Gioconda or, or The Starry Night, that was probably the longest one that took me. But when I started, like right now I'm starting to make the, the main character of the screen, as you can see with the, the paintings. It's, it's an expressionist uh, painting, so it's similar to the way I had to draw the, the Starry Night with the thin lines that take a little bit more time than making something like La Gioconda or the Bob Ross painting. And actually I had a problem that you will not find during this video because I didn't record it basically. Uh, because I didn't know if it, it was going to, to work out. And it's, uh, right now, you will see that uh, the face of the scream is too much on top of the blue part uh, of the painting. I had to move 
the whole scream guy and the bridge um, to a, a little bit to the to the right of the of the painting about uh, the idea of Edward Munch when he wrote this uh, was a little bit because he was uh, going around like walking through the fjords through the Norwegian fjords I don't know if I'm saying that right fjords and uh, he fe uh, like he had a lot of pain he was a little bit ill or something like that uh, so he had pain in the back and had a headache so he, seem he seems to have been looking at the sky and the sky was turning red because of the sun some uh, some people say that it's because the Krakatoa exploded during those years so maybe some of the of the of the dirt of the volcano uh, fell in the air and that's why it was so red and Edward Munch said that when he looked at the sky uh, he looked he just could hear like a scream of nature that's why actually the 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 paintings the collection of paintings is called the scream of nature and not the scream only but popular culture culture uh, changed to the scream only her sister that's all that suffered schizophrenia uh, also was in an asylum near the the part where he conceived the painting so maybe that's a little bit also uh, something thematically in the in the painting itself and as you may have noticed uh, the the scream guy actually moved in that in the painting right now so that's the fix I did off camera it took me a little time but at the end it was for the better because it looks more like the real thing right now and about popular how popular is this this painting you will probably know a lot of of tributes uh, during movies and and other paintings and things like that uh, for example uh, if you have seen home alone of course Macaulay Culkin when he shouts uh, it's based on the scream reaction on the, of the same painting. And there's also small tributes during Simpsons episodes, like the one of Halloween where Bart goes uh, through a museum and you look at, at different paintings. And one of them is the scream, of course. The stealings are so famous that uh, they even appear on an, on an anime uh, called Detective Conan. I don't know if you know about it. I think in America it's called Case Close or something like that. Uh, but in the rest of the world, of the world is Detective Conan that is a, a guy that turns uh, little because of a drug so he keeps being a detective uh, helping uh, the father of the girlfriend and it's really it's a really great series but it's taking too long to finish but yeah there's an episode of of Munch that it disappears and there's a killing and all that like every episode then Conan needs to to discover how he how it was stolen and things like that and of course uh, how to forget that uh, the scre uh, scream the movies uh, the ghost face is based on actually the scream painting the, the face type and things like that so yeah it's a pretty famous painting for the ending of this video I want to talk a little bit about this series uh, as you can see it's not gathering much attention so it's as it takes me too much time and uh, doesn't let me continue other projects, I would probably or make it slower or just stop making it, basically. I'm sorry for anyone that really likes uh, these videos, but it's just that if it's not getting the views, it's not, even if I have some fun, it's taking me too much time from other projects, so I prefer to continue the other projects that get, gather more views than this. Uh, I hope this series gets a little bit of attention with the Boanet uh, Steam Workshop Wonderland uh, today. But if not, uh, I'm going to finish it soon, uh, I suppose. And that's it, I think. Uh, thanks a bunch for everyone that uh, likes this series. And goodbye.